good evening or night, morning, afternoon, whatever way you are. It's very late year and I'm even in my pajamas. So when I say this is a late night vlog, uh, it's a very late night one. And uh, I thought it would just be a good idea to assess where Synaptica is right now and where it's going. And uh, one good reason for that would be so that you, the viewer, uh, know what to expect uh, in the next few months. And perhaps uh, it might not be something that you want or something that you do want. And we prefer that people not be surprised by the things that we will make. Uh, no. So the most recent video we made was the snake milking one, uh, narrated by my friend Donan, and uh, I don't think many people have actually seen it, but anyway, uh, yeah, it was fun to make, and filming snakes is always an interesting experience because, uh, well, they're snakes, venomous snakes, uh, they're their own thing, and... The creak of my drum throne, uh, while well, a cat is about. And uh, yeah, filming snakes is. Filming snakes is uh, its own thing, and uh, different kinds of venomous snakes are always one kind of thing. Uh, if it's a spitting cobra, you're going to have a certain kind of environment to deal with. If it's a viper, it's a different one. Uh, <laughs> if it's a king cobra, uh, I, I'm not sure if fun is a word, but it's certainly something. And uh, to me, filming vipers is uh, in the environment that we would do it. Uh, for example, with the snake milking video, uh, they're dangerous snakes, but uh, even the crate, I mean, it's a crate, but they're, they're surrounded by professionals and uh, from a filming perspective, you always feel safe there. Uh, I've been in the same, in a confined space with a spitting cobra, albeit a very docile one, but you know, it, it was around me and coming towards me and uh, I always felt, I always felt safe uh, doing it because I trusted the people around me. And so uh, filming a viper to me is always quite easy if it's not looking to escape because uh, it's just going to stay there. And I know, uh, you know, uh, Donan, in this case, would say, you know, stay a certain distance away, and as long as you're that distance, uh, you're, you're going to be safe. Uh, so it's always an interesting experience of, of the, the danger element, but also feeling safe when you're doing it. For the snake milking one, uh, it was quite smooth. Uh, basically, it, you know, it was uh, quite fun, I would say, and... Uh, dealing with the, the danger aspect of it, but still in this context, uh, extremely safe. And so you, you can really go quite up close to, to get the shot that you want uh, while still respecting the, the boundary of the snake milker and then actually uh, getting the, the kind of shot that you want, getting the kind of, uh, let's say when the, when the snake is biting the balloon and uh, you know but still feeling safe and and uh, and that you're not bothering the snake milker because the last thing you want to do in this kind of situation is to actually bother the snake milker uh, something can go very wrong in that case well the next video, uh, we're working on two videos concurrently, and the first one likely will be 
the cats of the Faculty of Biology, which we actually started filming in the beginning of this year, but I didn't want to start editing it just yet. Uh, I wanted to lead up to it first. And this will, of course, be about the snakes of the Faculty of Biology with uh, a great number of them and uh, each one with their own personality and my own cat goes in trouble. Hey, no. And uh, talking to the students who like to play with these cats and to feed them and also some of the caretakers of them, uh, in this case, Ruri. And uh, alongside that, we have a video about the journal, uh, Journal Rakaia Set Process, which Lily and I actually... The video will be called something like the transformation of the journal, and uh, we basically overhauled uh, some of the design aspects of it. Uh, we'll be uh, following through on the second half of this project uh, in the coming month, but uh, for now we basically redid the design of the journal and also the article uh, layout and uh, the editorial design. And uh, in terms of journal publication, uh, this would be an inter interesting bit of, of shedding some light on some of the behind the scenes aspects of journal management and, and consulting. And uh, I would say the more interesting aspects of it, which is actually getting down and dirty with the actual body of the work and not the mundane day-to-day -day stuff. And uh, illustrating the kind of gains that a journal can make if it actually puts in the effort, which in this case, the journal basically said, you know, like, do what you want, uh, as long as it's within the, the, let's say, the identity of the journal. And then after that, you can basically have all the freedom you want to do something interesting, and, and which I think we did do. And uh, for this video, we're still waiting to conduct some interviews with the editors of the journal because they are very busy, as uh, an editor would be, and so we need to make the time to actually sit down with them uh, and, and get them to give their perspective on it. And then uh, we will also discuss it from our side and what we did, uh, maybe a little bit granular and showing some of the steps of it which I think will be good for other journals uh, to, to see. And uh, this will be leading into uh, yet another thing, which will be journal analyses. Basically, Lily and I looking at journals and discussing uh, some of the things that they can improve, but uh, not putting too much into it, but just something interesting where uh, we can uh, give some of our expertise uh, to any journal that wants it without needing to actually actively consult us. And uh, this is more on the Lely side of it, the uh, scientific publication aspect of it. But yeah, something that uh, she's really quite excited to, to, to do because uh, with all due respect to many journals, if you saw our peer review video, you would know <laughs> that uh, journals have a lot of work to do and uh, many journals are not actually putting in the effort that they could be putting in. Uh, many times because they simply don't know what they could achieve and so that's what we would like to do with these videos, to actually help journals improve by first opening their eyes to the potential. And for now, that is basically it. Uh, if you want to support the Synoptica project, uh, we have a Patreon page, which you can check wherever, and uh, a coffee, coffee. I apologize. I'm tempted to say coffee just because I have that feeling to say coffee, but I imagine it must be coffee because of the whole coffee element. Uh, well, that's my ignorance anyway. And if you want to support the project, uh, 
we appreciate anything in that direction or any other ideas uh, we're totally open to them to basically uh, for now uh, supplement what we are doing and uh, that deep inhale is to represent that we don't know what the future holds and uh, we are still kind of feeling some things out but to the best of our ability we're going to do what we can and uh, beyond these two upcoming videos journal analyses videos uh, we want to do more documentaries more talking to people and uh, giving perspectives that are not necessarily just ours and in the more long-term grander scheme of things uh, since we are currently located in Indonesia in Jakarta, talking to people from the these islands and from the city and I would like to expand into talking to in the more medium term video game developers highlighting some developers that people might not know because they happen to be located in very very far away from the west and uh, you know you might see some games that are set in Indonesia or tangentially related to Indonesia but not really about Indonesia from the perspective of an Indonesian and uh, this is something that uh, I'm looking to do and also film and architecture but those are a little bit more I'd say longer term and, and then we would also like to have discussions between us on various things uh, discuss some of our favorite films discuss a certain film from an ecological perspective that film being the Studio Ghibli masterpiece Pompoko and uh, some films that we just uh, adore and might not see people discussing too much if you hear that, that's a gecko. And uh, things that, you know, we would like to, to do as well. Not just to stay within the lane of, to be honest, for many people, nerdy, boring, scientific aspects. There's a lot to this world and uh, we would like to explore more of it. Speaking of which, I have a lot of footage that I should share and I hope to share and I suspect that's the least desired aspect of Synoptica, random footage, but these are things that I think are worth sharing and actually if they're of use to people then they need to be out there and uh, some of them educational, some of them not, some of them just pure videography, something that I, I love to do. and. Uh, not a lot of content in there uh, in the terms of you know someone talking but something that i think is also worth sharing yeah thank you for watching and uh, again if you want to support us patreon coffee uh, any other way uh, sorry for the squeaking we're happy to to do what we're doing and uh, in the case of the snake milking video to see people uh, watching a video where the person speaking is an Indonesian uh, someone who might not be heard a lot outside his specific field and something that I think has a lot of value and uh, lest I continue rambling as I'm one to do Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you again soon sometime.